Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a money and career spread for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with the Sagittarius, this reading could definitely resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. This is the first time I've ever done a money and career spread for a general reading and didn't see certain money cards come out. Now, I've had that happen in personal readings, and I've always said, hey, look at this. This whole deck is about money, and when I get no money coming out of this deck, it means you have a block, all right? And there's two things blocking you, and it's so funny because um, the last reading that I just put out, I think it was about... Um, uh, having a very strong karmic connection. The numbers that I saw uh, were 888, 888, yeah, three eights. Um, and that's about, you know, extreme abundance, different, you know, changes happening, preparing for all this abundance. But I told you that you had to get rid of a certain karmic relationship in order for that to happen. And I feel that energy here. It's This is all um, confirming each other, you know? And this is also how I do my um my hour-long reading i start with tarot i do your money and career and then i look at your spirit with my animal spirit deck and right now if this is all falling in line there's no money here <laughs> there is no money here until you make some changes in your life and the two changes is that person and it's your childhood parenthood all right either you have a parent currently that um their opinion matters too much to you, or you have childhood issues, wounds, um, things that just need to be addressed that are actually holding you back and causing doubt within you. Because um, the card that I have at the bottom is denial, okay? And when you have denial, that means you're doubting something. And I think, I think you're doubting yourself, okay? I think you're doubting yourself. Um, and you could be uh, in denial about who this pss, unethical. Anytime this dude comes out, it's, it's some ex, some person you need to get rid of. All right. Um, either you don't think that they're that bad or you, you're doubting yourself too much. OK. Um, also, some of you really need to whatever business you have. It's important that you put yourself online. All right. When I get retail. That's talking about e-commerce, okay? So whatever you do, you need to have an online presence. Writer also says that you're really great at manifesting. You could also be a very good writer, but social media is very important, okay? You need to put yourself out there on social media. And again, guys, sometimes, you know, it's important to talk this out because it's not about, some of you may be like, look, I don't like taking selfies. Um, I'm not, you know, big on social media. You're not using social media to promote you, per se. It's your business, okay? And if you are part of that business, only put yourself in that light. You know, if you don't want to be showing people like, what does my personal life look like? Don't show that. That's not what you're promoting. You're promoting your business. So get comfortable promoting your business online, all right? That's what you want to use that online presence for. Because I know a lot of people are like, you know, I don't do social media. I think that that's people on there lying and being false. True. So if, you, if we got this platform here where, you know, you feel like everybody's misusing it, take it and use it for what, you know, you are into that, you know, um, has meaning. OK, like this is useful. This is useful. I'm not, you know, taking a picture of my food or showing what I'm doing. And I mean, I, I do that, you know, sometimes. I mean, we all do it. Some of us do it. But what I'm saying is if you're that type of person that thinks like that's useless, waste of time, well, use it to promote your business. Use it to promote your business. OK, now um, you got three black cards for this one. 
You got work hard in silence, embrace the wisdom of the unknown, and reconsider a decision, okay? Um, a couple things I'm going to tell you guys. This parenthood, if this parent is against what you're doing right now, don't tell them, okay? Um, also, if you know you got like haters, because unethical is sitting right under, actually, it's like this, work hard in silence, unethical, unrealistic. OK, um, if you got some sort of haters or something like that, you need not tell them all your business. Don't tell everybody what's going on. OK, um, also, when I see the unrealistic card, you you had reconsider a decision. There may be something that you guys want to do that you shouldn't do. OK, some of you look because we got the options card, right? which tells me some of you guys have multiple ideas, but you will also have multiple opportunities. But for those multiple idea people out there, um, one of those ideas is not necessary or is not um, does not need to happen first. But something is telling me that for reconsider, you should scrap it. Scrap whatever it is that you know you don't have real passion for or that, um, I don't know, maybe you think it would be a popular thing to do. But don't do what's popular. Do what's you. OK, do what is you embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Anytime that I get that card it's telling me when I've had it in personal readings um, to let grow your spirituality. OK, um, trust in your your prayers, your altar work, different things like that, because trust, trust is the card that's out here. All right. It says the universe is asking you to trust that your needs will be met. This is a good time to connect to your spirit guides. So sometimes when I see trust and embrace the wisdom of the unknown, you need to get more into your spirituality to make things happen. OK, to manifest what you truly want. It's important to do that. Also, your spirituality will give you the confidence to take on things that you're actually afraid to do. All right. You got rescuer and you have partnership. Now, um, Sagittarius, I'm going to tell you something. Somebody is going to come in and help you if you are um, in denial or uh, having doubt about your ability to do something. You will get help. But remember, see, unethical is also here um, in partnership. And I have been getting picking up, you know, the wrong person trying to get into business with you a lot. OK, so be aware of that. There is someone you're supposed to partner with or that will help you out, may not turn into a partnership, but they'll offer their services to you. That's great. Take that help. But if you got somebody who your intuition is telling you they're trying to partner up with you, you know, and, and, and be like intertwined in the business and you know you don't feel good about it, don't do it. And like I said, remember this unrealistic reconsider a decision. Remember, there could be something that you are thinking of that is not what you should be doing. Literally. Something you're thinking of, you really shouldn't do. That's not the route you want to take. So go within, embrace that wisdom to figure out where do I start? What should I do? Okay. Oh, at the top of the deck is patience. See, because that could be the other thing. It could be you guys, some of you guys maybe want to do something because you think I'll get a, a, a quick response. I'll get more customers if I do this or I'll, I'll get more attention if I do this. But no, work on what it is you know is, is what your soul is asking you to do. Okay? And be patient because what's coming to you will come. All right? You will have success, but you can't um, go rushing. See, because this is a time for you to be independent, to be a boss. All right? To, to, to be able to have um, the right things occur. You don't want to just do any old thing. You don't want to do anything. And, and stop trying to be so controlling. I've been getting this card a lot too in uh, personal readings. All right? You can't control water. You see what this water is doing? Try to grab that. You're not going to be able to grab that water. So flow. Have more flow. All right. Stop being so controlling. Stop being so rigid in your ideas of what this business is going to look like and what I'm going to do and um, who's going to help me, who's not going to help me. You know, use your intuition for the bad people. But there are other people that will come into your life and show you things or suggest things and, and let you see another point of view. So be a little open. OK, don't be so controlling and make sure you write out your goals, write out your goals. OK, write them out and knock them out. All right. There's. um. This energy, you have to release the doubt in order to get the money. 
Okay, you got to release the doubt to get the money because what I'm seeing for this group is that your channel to bring the money in is your new idea. But if you are doubting yourself, you're closing the channel down and no money can flow through. Okay, that's what's happening. And you really need an online presence, a website and a social media presence. Okay, um, for whoever this is for. Because right now, I honestly can't see what it is that your endeavor is. And it's because I think you don't know. I think that you have too many things going on. And, and the one you want to start with is probably the wrong idea with reconsider, the, reconsider a decision and unrealistic. So go back to the drawing board or, or just be more honest with yourself. Also, release any kind of shame or guilt from your childhood that's slowing you down. Or making you choose something um, that is for the crowd and not for you. Okay? Yeah. It's as if maybe this endeavor you shouldn't do is maybe because it, you feel like it'll bring you attention that you didn't receive when you were younger. Or um, some form of validation or something. But go back and fix that. Address it. Okay? But you guys got this. But it's time to make real hardcore decisions. You know, be serious about your life. Be serious. Like, if, if unethical people have to go, they have to go. If you have to heal your childhood, heal your childhood. Don't let these things stop you. Please don't. And don't tell everybody your business. Work hard in silence. All right? You guys got this. Because there's going to be an opportunity. It's got a golden door. It's going to be the best thing you ever did. All right? Okay. Choose yourself. Choose to win. All right? Not none of this old bull crap. And trust the universe. Trust your ancestors. Trust your guides. Trust God. You got this. All right? Okay, guys. So if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Um, and if you would like to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. All right, guys.